Hello YouTube, this is Twang, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, effects chains um, and how to run effects chains in guitar systems. Um, and I just kind of threw this together to show you. So this is a, a Deja Vibe. And I'm putting that first in the chain because I'm running it kind of like Robin Trower, and I've found that to sound a little bit better than later in the chain, the way Hendrix did it. Um, but you can try it different ways. Uh, so that's first in the chain. Then I'm going to a compressor. A uh, compressor goes to the wah-wah. The wah-wah goes to the pitch uh, modifier, you know, whammy pedal. The whammy pedal goes to the octafuzz. Octafuzz goes to the glove, which is, a, of course, the octafuzz is a fuzz pedal. Glove is more of like a uh, heavier overdrive. Uh, kind of like a, a distortion pedal, I should say. And this uh, Euphoria is more like an overdrive, although it can get in the distortion range, but that one's probably more of a heavy sound, the glove is. And then uh, from there, I go into the EP booster, which boosts the signal back up uh, for to compensate for the loss of running long cables and through a lot of effects that will drain uh, the signal. Then I run in from the EP booster, I run into the volume pedal. <clears throat> volume pedal comes out into the uh, time delay, which is an ebb and tide time, time factor, going out of the time factor into the Ibanez uh, chorus, uh, and then into the Flint. The Flint has a uh, reverb and tremolo. Going out of the Flint into the M5 by line six is kind of a multi-effect pedal that has a lot of different, different effects in it, and I'm running that into the effects loop of the Super Ego to get modulation effect. Uh, I'm using an analog flanger at this point. So, but you can use all kinds of different, uh, you know, it has all different types of effects in here, and you can run that through the, through the effects loop of the Super Ego to modulate the affected uh, sustained note. And then you can pass your other signal through the uh, regular input, and it's not affected by that. So then it goes into the loop station and into a Princeton. And I'm using a Strat. <clears throat> and I'm going to demo some of these pedals just so some of the less experienced people out there can hear the different sounds that are used. And uh, the first one is this Deja Vibe, which is uh, kind of a Univibe type uh, effect. That's been used on, you know, things like Pink Floyd. And of course, with distortion, you hear it on, uh, for instance, uh, I'll put some fuzz on here. And this is the uh, Robin Trower tune. Um, That's with fuzz, this is with overdrive or distortion. Okay, so the deja vibe. You've got a wah wah. This one has several different settings. I'll put it on the, the shaft setting. So the shaft setting has a, th uh, a higher pitched uh, throw to it than the, the middle setting, which is voodoo. Um, it's a little lower frequency. And then white room even has a lower one than that. Very basic. It's cool with the, if you put some overdrive distortion to it run through those three again. This is the one, uh, the white room setting, which has a lower frequency. This is the uh, voodoo, and you get a little feedback there. Uh. And then the shaft setting is a higher frequency. So that's the wah-wah. Uh, I forgot to mention the compressor. We've got right before the 
going from the deja vibe into the compressor. So this is a compressor that has two different sounds or two different compressors. One of them is a, the first one here is modeled after the orange squeezer. Kind of made popular by Jeff uh, Baxter. Used this one a lot for some of those Steely Dan things. Doobie Brothers. Another one is a Ross. It's a lot more compression. And you can actually have them both on at the same time. You can go compression crazy if you want. Okay, and then we're from there, we're running into the wah wah. And after the wah wah, we have uh, the whammy. Whammy Y, and it has a couple different effects, but I've got it set for, uh, in the first setting, I think it's set for a wah, but I don't use that wah, since I've got the snarling dog, the snarling dog sounds a lot better. This one is kind of like an auto wah. Just love a little bit. Adjust the pedal to adjust the, the frequency that the, the auto wah kicks in at. Okay, then the third, the third setting here is just a uh, octave. I mean, not an octave, but a uh, a major second down. Then the third, uh, the fourth setting, octave up, two octaves up on the fifth setting, and then an octave down and an octave up with the original note. That's the, the whammy wah. Next in line is the octave fuzz. And it's set to just fuzz right now, I believe. And you can flip the switch and do an octave, kind of like Octavia. I'm trying to move the gain down. Then we got the glove next, which is uh, kind of more like a uh, marshal in a box, is what I would call it. <laughs> then you have Euphoria, which is kind of like a good amp overdrive. It's, I think it's modeled after a dumble, um, that type of sound, but it's uh, kind of low to medium. You can get, you can't really get any really extreme high gain things out of it, but it sounds great. It kind of still retains the sound of each note if you play a chord. Uh, the Eventide, of course the volume pedal's next. Gotta have a volume pedal. Then the uh, Eventide, a time factor. And I've got the pedal uh, set up to control the amount of the uh, feedback and, and the mix too. I forgot to mention this little nose deal here. This controls the um, speed. It's like a tap delay for the Eventide and also for the Flint. So I can control the, the speed of the tremolo. I can also control the, the speed of the delay.
from the Eventide, I run into the uh, uh, that Ibanez chorus. And from there, I'll cut the Eventide off. Now this is the flint. Just got a little reverb. tremolo and then I've got that running into the super ego I'm gonna play a little pad chord here and uh, let it sustain now that's without the line six this is with it creates a little more interesting loop Kind of play over that loop. Okay. And then you've got this uh, loop station which I believe I've got a bad loop in there. Let me delete that. I'll lose that. Or create one here. I'll go ahead and put a bass on this. system and that's probably in my opinion the, the best way to run your signal chain through all these in that order in this particular situation all right thanks a lot YouTube